Hello there, directors, and welcome back to week two of summer school iMovie class. Uh, today, we are going to be creating your own movie trailer. So if you would, open the iMovie app. Now, if you open this and it immediately crashes, I want you to go to self-service, and I want you to look in your apps and make sure that you have iMovie iOS 11.4 and higher. It has to be that version or it will not work on your iPad. So if you need to reinstall to get the updated version of iMovie, go ahead and pause this movie, go do that now, and then come back and watch me again because that will uh, help you get started. So uh, we are going to be making a movie trailer today. So we're going to hit the plus sign and you're going to go to trailer. Now there's a bunch of different ones you can choose. Uh, the sample, if you looked at the slides already, I made Superhero uh, as my sample. That does not mean that you should pick that one. I'd actually rather you not because I already did that one. Uh, so if you chose like Fairy Tale, you can kind of get a sample of what it's going to look like. you get the point uh there's a bunch of them all of the text in this is editable so if you're seeing a beautiful girl ew uh that's not what it has to say you can change it um so there's one there's like <laughs> Now, do you see at the bottom where it says two to six cast members? Over here it says two cast members. So that will give you a clue of how many people uh, are going to be involved in your video. When I did Superhero, it was two to six cast members, which was perfect for me because my family right now has three people in it. It has me, my husband, and my son. So um, we could all kind of have our cameo moments in there. So you might want to consider how many cast members you need before you choose uh your trailer. So I'm just going to go ahead and create one that's teen um, just so you can see what it look at. So the first one is going to be outline. This is where you're going to decide what all of the text in your video is going to say. So if I were you, I would watch this to decide before I just went for it. So cast member, I might say myself. I'm a girl, so I'm going to make that female. And title, uh, we'll go with Band Geek. Um, now, oop, I forgot to do this here for you. Um, so that was if it was four people. Maybe you only have two people in your family, so you only want two cast members. You need to delete two of these before you get started. I forgot about that part. Sorry. So everything in here is editable. And this is all going in your outline. So you fill in how you need to do. Uh, 339 Studios is just what I chose because 339 is my house number. That does not have to be the one that you pick. If you decide that you want your uh, little studio that sponsors your video to be something different, change that, make it however you want. Um, the credits are all me, of course. Uh, so when you've typed in your outline, this is when you jump in with your storyboard. Now they give you some clues of what types of videos you need to capture here. So like the first one's a landscape and it's going to last for three and a half seconds. The next one is going to be an action shot for one and a half seconds and 2.1 seconds of a wide angle shot. Um, these text up here those give you a clue what you're looking at, but you know what? You can change it if you want. So if you don't want this to say schools are two different kids from two different neighborhoods, I don't know. I mean, you can make this completely personalized. It does not have to follow the text that's here, but you know what? If you want it to do that, go for it. Now it pulled the artist for me because I said that that was um, my title over here in the outline. That's where they got that from. So when you fill in your outline first, before you do the videos, it's going to transfer that text into the story for you. Isn't iMovie nice like that? So this one tells me, because my outline said my characters were Michelle and Anne here in cast members, that this video needs to be of Michelle and this video needs to be of Anne. So if I select this one, I can go to either videos 
or photos. So if I wanted a video, oh, there's a lovely video of myself. You can see what it looks like if I put that in the storyboard. If I don't want it to be there, I can move this. <laughs> I made this one for our video. And I can add it to my storyboard. Now if you want to see what it looks like just in this square, you can hit that play. If you want to see what it looks like in your entire video, hit the top. So that gives you a clue kind of what uh, is going to happen if you do a video. Now if you happen to do a photo, uh, if you watched my sample, I did a couple of both because uh, why not? So if I chose a photo to add into here, uh, they're going to do this Ken Burns animation. And what that means, it's going to start somewhere on your photo. It's going to end somewhere different. So the default you can see doesn't really have me in the picture. So if I say start, maybe I want it to start here, but I want it to end down here. So when I scroll the photo now, it will animate my photo starting where I told it to. And if I like that, I can hit done and it will go back into my storyboard. So you're going to fill in all of these videos. They're very, very short. Um, mine, when I did my sample, I went back to photos that I had from a long time ago. I had videos all over my camera roll. Um, I had a lot of fun. There weren't a lot of videos that I made fresh and new for this project, uh, but you are welcome to, depending on which story uh, trailer you choose. Uh, will probably depend on how you make this happen. So when you are finished, uh, if you're working on it and then you want to come back to it later, I know I had to work on mine over a couple different days and a couple different times. Just save it like I did and then you can go back and edit it later. If you hit done in the corner, it will save your work. You can watch the entire thing here. Um, but you're free to leave iMovie at that point and it's still going to save your project and you can edit later. So when you're done, uh, getting this onto Google Classroom is going to be a little more complicated than it was with clips. It just doesn't play quite as well. So when we share, see Google Classroom is not going to be an option for us, which is stinky, but we can still do it. So we're going to save your video. I went for 720p. You do whatever you choose. I'll be able to see anyone. So when I'm exporting my movie, it's actually going to save it into the camera roll. It's going to make it uh, like I where I tick my pictures or where I put my videos. And I know this part takes a while, especially if your uh, trailer is one of the longer ones. You can do it, buddy. Okay, so when it tells me it's exported to my photo library, that means if I open up camera, it's going to be here now. Like its own separate video. Now, of course, mine's pretty blank. <laughs> you don't want to have any blanks in yours, of course. This is just my example. So from here, now we can attach this to Google Classroom as an assignment. So you want to open up Google Classroom, you want to get into iMovie class, you want to go to class work, and you're going to see one here that says uh, movie trailer. It's not there yet because I haven't put it there yet, but just in case, I'll put it on emoji just so you see what I mean. Um, so if I did it here, you would attach this. Now you're going to see a little weird because I'm in teacher mode. You're going to attach this as an assignment, and then it's going to tell you to pick photo. When you pick photo, you can pick the movie that you just made. I know it's not a photo, but it's in the camera roll. I promise you it's going to work. Uh, wait until it loads all the way up and then hit turn in so I can see the whole thing. So directors, I'm giving you two full days to work on this one. I understand that this is a big project where you have a lot of movies to collect on that storyboard, but hopefully this one's really fun for you. I know that mine, my sample over here, the Super Swingers, uh, it took a long time to make, but I really enjoyed doing it. You can see all of my tiles on my storyboard got filled in with either a video or a photo. I was able to personalize all the text. 
And that's just kind of a fun thing that I can share with friends. So uh, if you have questions, you can always ask me. Enjoy, director.